It was during the summer of the year 2000, July, on our visit to Scotland that we got the opportunity to go to Edinburgh to have a walk around the visitor centre and on board the Royal Yacht Britannia. There's Peter collecting the tickets, which were booked in advance by telephone a couple of days previously. And that is the barge which took the royalty from Britannia ashore. And there's June with Peter and his twin brother John, and we're all ready now to walk around the visitor centre. The visitor centre was very interesting with lots of nice pictures and uh, after doing that you walk outside and go aboard Britannia taking with you a uh, cassette or mini disc controlled information uh, telephone so you just press the appropriate number of where you are on board Britannia and it gives you all the information. Video is only allowed on the outer decks of Britannia, which is quite a shame because it would have made a much more interesting film. However, I hope you'll enjoy what you see. This is a mock-up of a cabin in the visitor centre. The pictures that you are looking at is what we saw on board Britannia, but as I said, you couldn't video it, so you had to take advantage of the photographs in the visitor centre. There's the communication and um, advice uh, type, uh, sort of telephone things, I don't know the correct name for them, guides, telephone guides. Anyway, we're going out on Britannia now, and uh, June in particular really loved this. It was the second time that John and Peter had been because they took their American friends. Anyway, uh, the Britannia, they started building it in 1952 
and it was eventually launched in 1953 at the John Brown shipyards on the River Clyde. In 1997 it made its final voyage home from Hong Kong and it was decommissioned on the 11th of December 1997. It was moved to Edinburgh four months later, prepared and it's now open for all to visit. You can tread where all the royals trod. <laughs>